Hello, I'm George Cairns, and in this 10th video lesson, we're going to use Digital Photo Professional for Canon's free image editing software to make selective colour adjustments, and we're going to improve this start image here, and I'll show you the very versatile selective adjustment tools that we can work with to tweak and adjust particular colours to create a better looking image. So once you've downloaded our start file, which is called Selective Start, then you can browse to it in the folder window here and then click on its thumbnail and pop up to view and choose edit image window and that clears the workspace out and lets us have a better look at our photograph and gives us access to all the handy tools we need at the right here. Now let's pop down to picture style because you can see that I've taken this photograph with a neutral picture style so we get fairly flat tones and that just helps me get detail in the highlights and the shadows. The colours are fairly bland too as a result so what you could do to start with with colour is go and change it to a different picture style such as landscape for example and that tends to boost the vibrance of blues and greens in nature. It tends not to boost skin tones too much so they're not looking too orange and it's making the shirt look a little bit too vibrant maybe that might clip and look a little bit garish in certain prints. So what we're going to do is selectively adjust the colours now to create a better looking print. And I'm going to selectively darken the blues of the sky to try and make the clouds stand out more in contrast. And to do that we need to pop up to this panel here which is the Adjust Image Colours panel. And if we click on there we get access to a variety of sliders. And at the top here we've got master sliders which adjust the hue for all of the colours below and indeed the saturation as well. So we can take all of the saturation down like so or we can increase it to try and boost the vibrance of the background blues and that's making the colours here look far too garish, the skin tones are looking too orange and we're clipping out detail in this magenta top here. So I'm not going to make a global adjustment just yet, I'm going to make selective adjustments according to the needs of my photograph. So let's start off with the girl's top because I'm a bit worried that that might print out as being too garish and lose some detail there. Some of the colours might be clipped even. So what we'll do is go down to magenta because that looks like the corresponding colours are in this little preview thumbnail. You can see we've got the thumbnail going from magenta here and then it goes to pink and then pink through to purple and then to blue. So this is broken up into sections that will adjust not just one particular colour but a range of colours. So you have to be careful as to which slider you adjust. And each slider adjusts three different properties, hue, saturation and luminance. So let's stick with saturation for the moment for the colours of the girl's top. If I take that to the far right we get really garish and clipped colours. If I take it to the far left we get very subdued colours. But that's just adjusting her top. Look at the ocean in the background, nothing's happening there. It's just changing the selective colour of the girl's clothing. So I'm going to just drop that down to around about minus three for more subtle colours on the shirt. Now because it's a nice summary photograph I might want to boost the saturation of the skin tones to create a more tanned look and I can go up to maybe orange I think is going to do a job. Let me just drag that to the far right. Yeah that's definitely over saturating the skin tones there so a little bit more of a subtle boost of around about four should do the trick to create a more summary looking skin tone for the child. So as you can see this is a really powerful and versatile way of making selective colour adjustments. And another good trick is to darken the skies by using the luminance slider of the aquas and the blues to then make lighter things such as the clouds pop out more in contrast. So let's try that. Let's go to luminance here for aqua, drag that down to the left there and you can see it's darkening the sky. And indeed if we do it with the blues as well because there's some blues there too we're creating a more dramatic sky there. So this is a great way of processing skies to create a better looking shot. Let me just go and compare the before and the after and you can see that's fairly flat and the colours now are more warm in this version here for the girl's skin tones and we've darkened the luminance as well of the sky to make the clouds pop out more effectively. And of course there's lots of blue in the sea and aqua in the sea as well so that's darker too which just helps the girl stand out more in contrast. And you can also select the hue of each of these different colour ranges. So if we go to the hue of the sky, let's go to aqua, and if we drag that to the left, that shifts the blues more towards a greeny hue. Let's take this down to minus eight as well for the blues. And now you've got a slightly greener hue to the photograph, which gives it that old seaside postcard look. And this is quite a fashionable thing to do for TV dramas by shifting blues to greens for skies. You create a slightly surreal look to your footage and you can do that with your photographs thanks to these hue sliders. So this palette is a particularly powerful way of selectively and creatively adjusting your photographs colours to create a range of different results. I'm just going to click to zoom in on the colours in this little child's toy here for example. Let's go to the greens and let's just adjust those as well. We take saturation down or up we can create more vibrant greens, we can darken the luminance, 
or light on that as well to make this stand out more effectively. So there's lots of colors to play with. And once you've selectively adjusted the hue, saturation, and lightness of particular colors, you could always pop up to the top here to the master sliders, and you could drag this down to fine tune things by just taking the saturation down a little bit for a more subtle range of colors. And one last thing I want to point out is by each of these options here, you've got a little undo icon, and that will reset the hue, saturation, and the lightness of that particular color to its default. 000 values. So when you're happy with the look of your adjusted image, let's go back to edit image here and click this little return to main window icon. And you may have other photographs in the series that you want to change the colors of in the same way. So let's click this shot here. And what we can do is we can copy a recipe by going to edit, choosing copy recipe that copies all of the settings applied to the photograph, including changes to picture style, for example. So we click on another photograph. I haven't provided this one, but just to give you the theory, I'm going to show you how it works. Go to edit and now choose paste recipe, and that will change the picture style and the selective color adjustments to create a similar looking range of colors.